welcome back to Boots and Bounty Homestead. Now, I'm bringing you a homemade dry mix recipe. This is going to be my homemade cream of everything or cream of whatever or cream of something. Cream of whatever you want to make it. Soup, dry mix. I usually make a half gallon size of this because it's so good. Tonight, I'm going to do the regular recipe. I'm not going to double it because I don't think I actually have enough of some of the things. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. So what you want to do, you can do one of two things. You can either make it in a quart jar and mix it or you can put everything in a bowl and then pour it into a quart jar. So since I've got my half gallon jar here and I'm only going to make a quart, which will be half of this, I'm just going to make it in the jar. So then all I got to do is shake it and mix it up. So what do we need for the ingredients? First of all, we need powdered milk. And with the powdered milk, it calls for two cups, one and a half cups of cornstarch. Now you can substitute this for the arrowroot if you need to, uh, depending on whatever diet you may be on. You can find substitutes for certain things. The next thing, this bouillon powder. Now you can do chicken if you want to. You can do beef if you want to. You can do, I think they have a vegetable or something. This is just the base flavor. This doesn't mean that you're making cream of chicken or cream of beef or whatever. Um, this is just your base and this is where your salt is going to come from to make like the condensed soup because we're not adding any other salts to this. So for this we need a half a cup of this bouillon powder. Now this is the the brand that we get. I think this is the only one we can find at our Walmart. Now I have taken the cubes and put them in like a coffee grinder or herb grinder or something and ground them up. It's just about going to take a whole one of those little glass cups. I had one. Here it is. Okay. So you usually buy, this is actually ground up powder because this is all I could find at the time. Um, the ones that come in here, you can actually grind up the cubes and it almost takes a whole one of those. So just be careful if you decide to do that or if you have to do that. Next time you'll think about maybe trying to get a big container of it because you're going to love this. So then the next thing we need is two teaspoons of onion powder and then we need one teaspoon of thyme and then one teaspoon of poultry seasoning and then a half a teaspoon of pepper. We're going to get all this stuff mixed together and then I'll show you how to make it. So now we've got everything mixed up, or in here. Now we're going to mix it up. Okay, I'm going to let the dust settle in there just a little bit. And then we will come back and we'll mix some up. Also tidbit. I keep a one-third cup measuring cup in it and I use wide mouth jars so that way it's easier to get in there and scoop it out because I'll show you what we need to make it here in just a second. Another plus to using a jar you can write on it. So for one can can't hardly see it. <laughs> for one store-bought can of cream of chicken or cream of mushroom, cream of celery you're going to do a third of a cup dry mix and one and a quarter cup of water. I had the rest of the directions on there, but you can't read them anymore. So, got a pot down here. And we are going to cut this on high and go ahead and pour in our one cup. Let me get a quarter. There's the quarter. And for our dry mix is going to be our one-third cup. Alright, we're going to use a whisk 
and get this all stirred up. And if you notice, we didn't put any extra salt in here because the salt is coming from that bouillon powder. Now, from here, if you would like to make cream of mushroom, you can either add your mushrooms now or you could pre-cook them in the pan and then put your mix in there and cook it all together. Um, this will automatically make cream of chicken. So if you want to add the mushrooms, you can add the mushrooms, like I said beforehand, or while we're cooking it. If you want to do cream of celery, you can do cream of celery. If you want to do onions, you know, all this stuff, whatever vegetable or meat that you are wanting to make, whatever soup, you are going to pre-cook it to soften it, or you can cook it now with what we're doing here. And all we're doing is making just a roux, basically, to make the gravy, or to make the, the cream of whatever soup now with the onion you might want to you might want to do a batch of dry mix with beef so you can do like a onion or some kind of just beef broth thickener as a cream of soup and then use your chicken for your vegetables once you try it the, your imagination is just it's limitless you can do whatever you want to with this so, once it starts thickening up, you can see it where it's not moving as much in the pan anymore. We're going to go ahead and cut it off and sit it to the back. So, at this point, your cream of whatever soup is done. You can use it in whatever recipe you would like. I'm actually going to do a meat and tater dish here in just a second. Go out and make you some of this and have it on hand. I'll be bringing you more dry mixes pretty soon, so stick around and we'll see you later, guys. Bye! Bye!